If there weren't 14,736 uh, bugs on my window from driving over 400 miles through the desert, you, you'd see that I'm driving into Reno, Nevada. I'm here at the Atlantis Hotel in Reno, Nevada. And one of the things I learned from interviewing Stephen Paddock's brother, Eric, is that this is one of the places that Stephen Paddock would frequent. He was a high roller here. And at first, they were giving him all kinds of privileges and comps to see these black diamond permit only parking spaces here. This is where you would have seen Stephen Paddock years ago um, at the Atlantis. Until they figured out that this guy was a little too good at what he was doing and they started cutting off his comps and privileges and that was that. And shortly after that, Paddock left Reno for Vegas and started spending the majority of his time there. That's what they do to these high rollers. They're not just gonna boot their butt out generally. They're gonna like slowly cut off their comps when they figure out that these people are actually um, winning money. And according to Eric Paddock um, in his interview, he says that this is one of the things that really pissed Steven off. Because he felt like, okay, you're the casino, you're here to make money, I'm here to make money. It's a game that I'm playing against you. I honored my end of it. You know, I put in my certain amount of money a week to be in the Black Diamond Club or whatever. And you guys are now not honoring yours when you're seeing that I'm coming out ahead. So there really has been an ongoing effort to kind of conceal the motive because it kind of makes the casinos look like what they are, vultures out to suck your money and send you on your way. And uh, so you haven't heard much about Paddock's motive. And in fact, the FBI said they didn't know his motive. I believe they do. Are they protecting the casinos? It sure seems that way. They know damn good and well what caused this. You know, and none of this is to excuse Stephen Paddock or justify what he did, because what he did was absolutely terrible and unforgivable and horrible. But what the casinos do isn't great either. Uh, they're basically there to suck the money out of people and send them on their way. I do think Stephen Paddock is not the only villain in this case. And unfortunately, the FBI, the LVMPD, and the very powerful politicians of Nevada have uh, done what they can to kind of keep a lot of this information from the public. We are talking about the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters that has been proven to be false. You had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year, and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting face time every day. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. He used the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. We if they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. Nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. Lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were vivid the whole time about being such big heroes they are hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. There is no conspiracy. Can't trust it! Yeah, can't trust this! Uh...